I'm G. Edward White, Ted White. I'm David and Mary Harrison, Distinguished Professor of Law at the University of Virginia School of Law. I've just published the second volume of a three-volume series called Law in American History. The second volume covers the period from Reconstruction through the 1920s. A third volume is planned that takes the story further into the end of the 20th century. My first volume began in the colonial years and extended through the Civil War. It's not a narrative of developments in American legal history. It's a, a series of books about foundational historical issues in the course of American history and how law was connected to and may have shaped and responded to those issues. I've tried to do two rather different things in this series of books. I've tried to do, as far as I could, a fresh perspective on very well-known episodes like the Declaration of Independence and the framing of the Constitution and the emergence of the Supreme Court of the United States and the Civil War. Um, what I've tried to do with those topics is to address them from a in a fresh or different way, and often trying to emphasize revisionist scholarship in the area that, I, that has influenced my treatment of, and, and I'm hopefully trying to change people's ways in which they think about these very common episodes. I think that law partially responds to and partially influences cultural developments. And I think the relationship between those developments and legal doctrine, uh, legal policy, legal ideas is really quite complicated. It's not a simple matter of law adapting itself to the outside world, and it's also not a simple matter of the outside world being governed by and driven by law.